Welcome, we're looking at text-to-text -text connections, starting with the mysteries of Harris and Burdick. Here in Uninvited Guest, our only text reads, his heart was pounding. He was sure he had seen the doorknob turn. This fellow, you can see him in the upper left-hand corner. His basement is now equipped with a tiny door. And that reminds me of another story, which is my text-to-text -text connections through... Curiouser and curiouser. Oh, oh, oh I beg your pardon. Quite all right. Text one obviously has this entire first left-hand column all to itself. Text two's got the center column. And then the connections I'm going to make, I'm Venable if you didn't know, are going to fall in our far right column. So we're starting with text one. So here are the two quotes that I pulled already. One, his heart was pounding. And the second one, we see the little door in the protagonist's basement. And the quote from the text, he was sure he'd seen the doorknob turn. Now. I want you to think back to the clip of Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland that we just saw. And I'm going to go ahead and make some connections. Um, you see Alice, she's running down the hall. Um, if you don't remember or you haven't ever seen or read Alice in Wonderland, know that she's chasing a little white rabbit in a um, little coat carrying a watch and claiming that he's late. And clearly any time a small girl sees a talking rabbit, she's going to chase it. Um, so this is what she's doing. She's running down the hall, um, and she's been running for some time. Um, she's fallen. There's a few things that really, if you haven't seen this, please go watch it. It's great. Um, so as you know, you and I know that when we run, our pulse accelerates. So we're going to go ahead and add that in there too. Except that I haven't spelled it properly. Oh, not even close. Accelerate. Okay, yeah, you can make fun of me all you want. I'm a terrible speller. That's why I teach where I can hit um, the spell check. Okay, her pulse is accelerated, she's running down the hall, um, and this is our connection. So our connection we're going to make between these two um, is that humans, when excited, scared, or um, exercising, okay, we'll have a chat about parallelism later, um, often have their hearts speed up. Um, that's our connection. So here we have two people um, and their hearts are accelerated for different reasons. In our second connection we have our little doorknob and the doorknob is turning. So in our second one as we saw Alice goes through a number of silly doors um, and I, we can include that there are multiple doors in one doorknob and the other ones um, they get smaller. And let's actually include that. They get smaller as she goes. Um, and um, when turning a specific doorknob, he talks back. Okay, so what two connections can we make here? Um, well, we need to think about what kind of small doors there are. In Harris and Burdick, we see that um, those doors are kind of supernatural. The protagonist isn't expecting it to see there. Same thing with Alice. She's kind of surprised by that. Oh, wait, I just made another connection. Let's include this, actually. Um, protagonist, surprised to see little door in basement. Oh, let's check out lovely spelling issue again. Brilliant. Okay, um, Alice is shocked. Okay, stop that to see um, multiple doors instead of one. Um, surprised to see tiny door behind curtains and um, shocked, surprised. Well, I think she's kind of all of the above, isn't she? Now let's just go with surprised um, that a doorknob talks. Okay, so let's actually just carry on with this one because we've already made the connection. And the connection is um, when 
things are not where they ought to be or are different than expectations, people, there's another typo, are surprised. All right, so we've made a really solid connection there. And let's go to the second one. Let's go ahead and get finished with this one. Um, so again, we were talking about how we see this little door in the protagonist's basement. He's surprised to see it there. He obviously didn't build it or buy the house that way. In the same way, Alice goes through a number of doors um, and she's kind of um, surprised when the door knob talks back. Um, so let's talk about um, here. Authors, typo, this is fun, kid. And uh, number two, authors use um, unusual things like different sized items to show supernatural events usually to build conflict. Okay, so we've made three connections here. And something you're going to notice about your connections are because you're pulling from multiple texts, these connections are actually going to be kind of universal ideas. So if we look just at the connections that I've made here, one, human's heart speeds up when they're excited, scared, sometimes when they're exercising. Authors use different unusual sized items to show supernatural conflict and to build conflict, oh, supernatural events and to build conflict, excuse me. Um, and then when things are not as they should be or different than what we expect them to be, people are surprised. Think about this. When was the last time one of your friends jumped out at you and scared you? You weren't expecting them to be there. Um, think about how much glee you get when you find some like giant sized coffee cup that takes both hands to lift. And, and think about the last time that you um, did a flight of stairs and then you were really irritated that you're a little bit out of breath when you shouldn't have been. Just kind of surprising. Um, those kind of connections, that's what we're looking for when we look at two texts. I hope this has helped. If not, go ahead and message your teacher in the portal or contact them on their phones. We're here to help you.